Hey guys, I'm Robbie Kovac at RV Sales of Oregon. Today I get to show you this 2006 Holiday Rambler Endeavor. Uh, this is made with the true pride of Holiday Rambler. In um, 2006 they were still making things super high quality, lots of solid wood, tile, good chassis, uh, very little restriction on the motor on here too. Uh, the motor on this guy is a Cummins ISL, that is a 400 horsepower motor. You do have the rear mounted radiator here. Um, your hitch is set up for about 10,000 pounds. I'm sure that can be uh, used for more if you wanted to uh, alter anything there. And then these two poles here are set up for a motorcycle rack. There might be other uses, but that's what I know they're for. Um, an articulating motorcycle rack that goes in, will tilt down, and you can slide up. This rig doesn't currently come with the rack, but we can help you locate one if that's something you want. Um, and then these are just for your braking system and airline and um, that guy there. Anyway, looking around, this is a quad slide here. Up top, you'll see there's a backup camera. Um, your air intake is right up there. Um, just going through the bays. Nice, easy power reel. This is something that uh, once you have, you never want to go without. It's just a powered power reel. So you can uh, press a button and it'll reel your cord back in. Easy access to your air filter there. Um, and a few other electrical systems there that you can get to. Um, big 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels here. These tires are fairly new. Let me get you an exact reading on them. I believe they're from 2017. I'm going to go with that for now. Double check with me, but I believe they're from 2017. We actually had this coach just a few years ago. Um, and the gentleman brought it back to us, so I'm lucky to have it back. But here's just our wash bay, outdoor shower, easy hookups for your fresh water. It does have a uh, black tank flush just to clean sensors and uh, if you're winterizing it you know keep everything nice and clean in there um, and then nice easy low point drains and um, winterizing options there so you can do that at home or you bring it back to us and we'll do it for you um, big pass-through propane tank that is a big boy um, I want to say that's at least 30 gallons um, 34 gallons is kind of standard so I'm gonna say 34 um, here you'll see we have a Joey bed. There's actually a couple of Joey beds on this rig, but this bad boy will slide out about 75% of the way, making it nice and easy to load up into the middle of the rig without having to climb down into the basement, getting locked in there, having the door closed behind you. Sounds like a horror movie, so that's why we put a Joey bed in there. Um, I'm not going to pull this one out for the sake of time. Another Joey bed. Uh, looks like it might be a little wider, might be an optical illusion, they might be the same size. But those bad boys will hold, I think, anywhere from 800 to 1,000 pounds. Um, so you can, you can fill that thing up. Um, here you'll notice, look it up, we have slide topper awnings on here. Just keep debris off of there, keep a little bit of extra moisture from all the, off the slides. Um, we have window awnings here for those warm summer rains where you want to have the window open but you don't want to get drenched inside. Um, this is all full body paint here in really, really good shape. There's no checking, um, no fogging of the clear coat, anything like that. Hopefully the video shows that. If not, you'll see it when you come and look at it in person. Um, fuel tank here. Uh, I want to say it's probably 100 to 150 gallon diesel tank. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm estimating here. I'm not sure exactly. But you do have a fuel neck on either side. Um, here is my least favorite bay. I don't touch anything in here, but it's nice and clean. It's just electrical systems. Well organized, I don't know much about them, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Below is just the exhaust pipe for your generator. You have an 8,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. Um, this here is a side mounted camera. You have one on either side. You flip that blinker on and it'll shoot you down a view of the entire coach. Uh, so when you're switching lanes, you don't run some little Mini Cooper over. Uh, moving forward, here is that generator I mentioned to you, the 8,000. Going in quiet diesel, about as good as they get, in my opinion. I don't know anyone arguing that. That's made by Cummins. Uh, moving a little bit further around, we'll just give you a quick view down the coach here. Uh, we have nice big power awning here, made by Colorado Carefree. That's a 12 volt awning. Um, and you have another power awning there over the door, just to keep things dry right outside your door. Uh, real quickly, I'll just show you, and you'll, you'll see it more from the inside, but nice big windows, cathedral type windows on the slide here, a total of four um, on every single corner, and it really keeps it bright in there. You'll see, I don't have any lights on or anything in there when we walk in, and you'll see the, the brightness in there. Um, and then just quick look past me, you'll see the fourth slide there that we hadn't seen yet. Again, all of these have topper awnings, and that one has another window awning back there. Um, and... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Let's go look inside. Um, walking in, easy access to lights, battery cutoffs, um, awning powers, um, things like that. Just lights for your patio. Um, and then, of course, this guy does slide out to make it so your passenger isn't, you know, sitting in front of a big ditch, going to break an ankle every time they try and stand up. A quick pan of the house, and then I'll show you a little bit on the cockpit. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Um, look in here. Actually, a fairly simple um, kind of cockpit here. You do have the landing gear here. It is hydraulic jacks. It is automatic too. So you just press a button, it'll level itself out. You can manually override it and adjust it there if you want to do it on your own. You have an Aladdin system here. For those that aren't familiar, Aladdin system is basically a way that the computer can communicate with a monitor, tell you all about um, you know, your boost, exhaust gas temperature, um, transmission temperature, um, all the way down to your holding tanks, your battery charge, and, and every little thing going on in this coach, you can see what's going on on that monitor controlled from here. Um, here we have the Allison transmission, uh, not the transmission, but the control board for it. It's a six-speed Allison transmission. That's an uh, Allison 3000, um, so just easily controlled there. And your basic stuff there, air dump. Um, you have power window shades, everything like that. You do have a Jake brake on here, um, heated mirrors, Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Um, moving on back, oh, these are brand new curtains. Thought I'd point that out to you, nice and clean. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned outside, first thing I said is built in, you know, kind of the, the pride of Monaco and it's a lot of solid wood. It's not just veneer and things like that. You can see the way it's put together, it's dovetailed. Um, and it's just made of nice stuff. Corian type counters, tile floors, really nice big open here. Um, this is your bigger slide here. This one's only about 18 inches, which is good in my opinion because you have so much weight on this one with it being the kitchen slide. Um, we do have the hide a bed right in there. Comfy, comfy recliner there. Um, a table that leaps out. We have two folding chairs for it in the rear. But see what I mean with these windows? how nice that is I have no lights on in here I mean it is a sunny day but it's you don't need any lights on um, you also have tastefully done the valances all the fixtures in here it's great colors I'm a big fan if you can't tell uh, moving on into the kitchen we have the Atwood three burner propane stove um, it's a sharp convection microwave there nice doubled in porcelain sink made with uh, sorry, the covers are just made with the Corian type. I, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Just high quality, solid surface stuff. That's all I was trying to say. And then extra little flip up there. Um, good storage throughout. The cabinets for the kitchen, big pots and pans. Um, you know, all the good stuff there, strainers. And then obviously just drawers for storage. Um, little spice rack here, whatever you might use it for. Probably that, maybe a bar, up to you. And then moving on to fridge here. It is a four door Norcold. This is a two in one, so that's propane and electric, which is definitely a must for me with the ice maker up top on the left hand side. And moving back a little bit, we do have a pocket door leading into the bathroom just for more privacy. Uh, moving in here, you have all the controls, inverter, um, shore power, and just kind of your power readers and just everything you would need easily located you're not searching the whole coach to find that which is nice um i do like the way they did it big vanity nice big medicine cabinet i mean that's some depth for a medicine cabinet there oh here we go i can tell you a little bit um 110 gallon fresh water tank so you probably have a combined 115 for your black and gray good to know um, again, solid surface counters, nice fixtures, lots of solid wood in here. And then I do kind of like this. The shower's kind of tucked into a corner. It doesn't seem like it takes up a lot of room, but then you get in there, you got a ton of room. I'm about I'm about 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 I'm not a huge guy. I'm also not a small guy by any means. I can get my elbows out and get my hands straight up. Um, I can even take a seat if I want. I won't, but if I wanted to, I could. Uh, commode, the most exciting part of the motorhome. That is a porcelain potty with a step flush, which is definitely what I would recommend. The electronic flush can be a bit of a, 
a pain if it's not working and there is plenty of room in here just to give you spatial awareness your knees aren't going to bump you got to be a seven footer probably before your knees are going to bump then moving on into the bedroom we do have the Splendid 2000 that is a combo washer dryer this is set up with a queen size bed right now um, there actually might be enough room it'd be a really tight fit but you might be able to fit a king in there uh, maybe a california king a little bit more narrow but nice big open space for the bathroom or for the bedroom nice part of having that quad slide here's our closet of course we have the engine access down below us here um, this is just going to be oh more storage i'm not used to that i was expecting fuses you know what you might be able to put a stackable in there if that's something you're interested in if you can find one they're hard to find right now but installing it would be the easy part um, then more storage down below this has been retrofitted with a new tv and it has the satellite system in there uh, you would most likely need to get your own receiver for it but it is already set up for for satellite radio or excuse me um television uh, anyway, yeah, so here, let me just walk back through here, give one more view. Oh, you do have the, the pocket door right where uh, the camera is there. And moving back through, I'm just going to end my video up here because this is, this is the space that I think we all need to remember. Oh. And uh, I don't know if you want to call that camping, but yeah. All right. I guess I'll end it here because I should probably get up. But this is a 2006 Holiday Rambler Endeavor. It's a 40 foot model. It is the 40 PDQ is the model number. Um, gosh, I apologize. I don't know the miles off the top of my head, but it should be somewhere around this video or on our website there. Um, and then I, I know that we know the history on this one. Like I said, we, we sold it a few years back. We're very thorough whenever we sell anything. We go through all of our stuff and make sure everything is good and everything's sound, everything's working as it should. So we did that just a few years ago. He brought it in here for all the services that he needed along the way. So we know this coach really well. I feel really good about it. It's something I would comfortably put a family member in, which is my best way of proving that it's, you know, a, a, a solid rig. I'd feel really good about someone I cared about getting something like this. So Anyway, guys, um, again, I'm Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Thank you for checking out the video. If you have any questions on this rig, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Thanks. Bye.